Today we're going to talk about uh, the difference between emitted light and reflected light. Um, what is a point light source? What is re-emitted light? Um, and this all is very key in doing photography and being able to see the world differently. Uh, this is the study of light. I want to say thanks to my sponsors at Shutter Stories. Um, check them out by looking at the little link down here in the info um, to go to shutterstories.net and learn more about them because they rule. All right, uh, we're going to talk about uh, a point light source and emitted light, uh, which are very, you know, hand in hand. Um, if you don't know what a point light source is, the point light source is the point that the light emits from. Uh, light emitting means it's traveling from there to wherever. So uh, the sun, which is, you know, 93 million miles away, uh, is an excellent example of a point light source, okay? It sends light from a point, which is the sun, and it travels in straight lines to Earth. It doesn't just travel to Earth, the light travels everywhere, but the, the straight lines that are heading towards us head towards us. And we bask in their glory, and, uh, you know, the, the sun, you know, is, is delivering this energy, but it travels in straight lines. Uh, so if you block that with any, you know, physical object that the light cannot pass through, it's going to hit it, the, the light that's hitting, the rays that are hitting on this side stop, and the rays that go over, go over straight. And so they leave a shadow that's blocked here, so it's dark, and crisp lines, so they're sharp on top. And that's what makes for uh, what's considered a hard light and what's considered, uh, you know, uh, you know that's, that's how you get crisp shadows is with a hard light, is with a, a point light source. So the point light source is the point that the light uh, emits the light from. And in emitting the light, it's, you know, that's where the light is traveling from to wherever it's going. Um, here's a graph that I drew. All right, you see that? I drew. I drew that. <laughs> um, you know, it's not very amazing, but here would be the point, and here's all the light rays traveling straight out in all directions. And that's very important to know that that's what happens. Okay, um, from a point light source. Now. A point light source, you know, in, in, its, you know, in its definition is a point that emits light. But uh, even soft light has point light sources. So uh, if you diffuse a light, so let's say, you know, that, that light that's coming from the sun, if we put something in front of it, like, uh, uh, you know, a, a translucent cloth, and the sun hits that, and the light hits and travels through, what happens is it's, it's diffused. Right, so it's hitting the thing and then it's gonna come through and it's gonna be soft. That's what's gonna create a soft light from using the sun. But the reason it's soft is because when it hits the, let's say it's hitting this, you know, this, it, it's a piece of paper, okay? Let's say it's hitting this piece of paper here. But what's happening, when it hits it and travels through it, now the paper itself becomes the light source. The light is being re-emitted through the paper. So each little tiny, if you went and, and took a pinhole and poked it in there, that would be the point light source from there. But the whole thing is full of all these tiny point light sources. So it's just covered with point light sources that are coming from all different directions. Now each of those point light sources is putting out light in all directions. So if you have something that's over here, and let's say, you know, here's the thing, the point light that's coming from here is hitting this thing. Now, if this straight line of light gets blocked, there should be a sharp shadow over here, but there's not going to be because the point of light that's coming from up here is gonna be hitting the same object and passing by it, therefore lighting the shadow here. And the point here is gonna be passing by it and lighting the shadow here. So it, the, the shadow is gonna fade away because all these point light sources are all hitting here, but only some of them are hitting in the shadow over here. So the shadow is gonna fade up and fade away. And that's why, uh, that's what makes a soft light. So you see these big soft boxes that people have, and the light is in the middle of this soft box, and it's got this thing, it's the same concept. It's lighting up a translucent, you know, white thing here. It's hitting, and then it makes the whole thing have all these different point light sources, which are, you know, extremely minuscule. Here's a graph of a point light source. So if the light hits here and travels through, it's gonna go all this direction, but the light that's hitting right here is also doing the same thing, and the light that's hitting here is doing the same thing, and so on and so forth. So you have all these extremely, uh, <clears throat> extremely small points, you know, they're minuscule, they're, they, they can't, I don't even think they can be measured, <laughs> but they're all sending light in a bunch of different directions. So you get, you do, you get soft shadows, and you get, you know, uh, light that it fades into and fades out of, you know, the shadows. 
Now, there's a difference between reflected light and re-emitted light, okay? Um, re-emitted light, like I said, you know, this pass-through, if you're passing through light, you're re-emitting it. But also, um, if light is hitting something and bouncing off of it, now I know it's commonly referred to as reflected light no matter what, like the light reflecting off my hand is considered reflected light. Uh, the light that reflects off of a mirror is considered reflected light, but they're different. Um, you know, light that reflects off of a, you know, a reflector such as a, a white, you know, a painted white board or, or a white board that light reflects off of, it's really being re-emitted off of there. It's, it's hitting it and it's coming off of it, it from all different directions. E each singular ray of light that hits it is now hitting it and then bouncing in all different directions and being re-emitted from a single point and it's being re-emitted. So all these single points are being re-emitted. So from the bottom to the top and that's, you're gonna get a soft reflected light, but they're, they're, each light point is being re-emitted. Now a mirror on the other hand is a specular reflection, which would be considered like a true reflection the way that we think of them. And what's gonna happen is each individual light beam is gonna hit and just get redirected and come right off. So if you're reflecting light from the sun it's going to hit and it's going to come off in the, it, the same intensity. It's not going to lose any intensity when it hits and bounces off of a mirror. Now, if you hold a mirror up, you know you can shine a mirror in someone's eyes and they'll, it'll hurt their eyes, you know? If you hold up a piece of white card that's the same size and shine it in someone's eyes, it's not going to hurt their eyes. It's because the intensity is, is not there because it's being re-emitted from here, not purely reflected, okay? You can look these terms up and you might not find them. But this is, uh, these are concepts that, you know, I, I recently have been getting my head around and I really had, you know, some great instructors teach me on these things and it's hard to find these things out there. That's why I'm putting them out so that people everywhere can know them, okay? So, you know, that's a concept that anyone can understand. If you shine a mirror in someone's eyes, they're going to get a direct sunlight hitting their eyes. If you shine a white card of the same size in their eyes, not going to bother them because the light is being purely reflected off of one and it's being re-emitted off the other. It's hitting and bouncing in all directions. Each point light source becomes its own new re-emitted light source, okay? And that's very important. All right, so now we discussed the difference between re-emitted light and emitted light and reflections. So light being emitted is, you know, the light's traveling from one point to another, such as the sun to earth, uh, that's being emitted, all right? Re-emitted is when that light hits something or passes through something and gets turned into a bunch of different points of light now. The, the energy gets distributed, each point gets redistributed, re-emitted from a new point, okay? Reflected, true reflection, is when the light hits and the, the same individual one beam that hits it doesn't get re-emitted, it doesn't get uh, redistributed, it just gets changed direction and comes back. So that's the difference between a reflected light a emitted light and a re-emitted light. Booyah, baby! You're starting to you're starting to see. I can feel it.